What's up, Creepers? And here's Christy Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Let the challenge begin. I am so excited for this. I really am. Let me put this right here. Let me put this right here. I am so excited for this challenge. Sorry about that. The weather sucks and the girls are asking for a ride home from school. So I'm going to have to bang this out real quick while they're in the library. And I will go get them. But Video Games Monthly is something I've seen people do for, well, pretty much as long as Video Games Monthly exists. And I think it's a wonderful service. Uh, for the most part, everyone gets a pretty decent box every month. I've chose the three game tier. But I've done it in such a way that's kind of more of a challenge to see if it would be worth it to a guy like me, who at this time in his hobby is only collecting pre-NES physical, you know? Um, anything NES and older, I'm not, I'm not collecting. I'm not collect or newer, I should say. Uh, I'm not collecting, but the one thing with these guys is I was excited when 2600 showed up, but you have to pick two systems, and I don't want to force it, you know? So I sat and waited, and then one day I realized it was an Intellivision on there too. So I said, there's two systems. So I loaded up every game I had for both systems, and the challenge is to see if they can at least match the value of the box with just the three games. Sometimes they offer more. They could give you a one-up or two-up and you get extra games or whatever. Uh, you should know the deal by now. So I finally pulled the trigger and November's box just came in 10 minutes ago. I haven't opened this yet. I have no idea what's in here. It could be fucking three copies of Combat. One Astro Smash, you know. Let me open it up. I'll let you get a quick peek. Ooh! And I'll close it. I have no idea what's in here. So that's the idea. The idea is to see if they can live up to that. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is pull out the paper stuff. And I was corrected by the No Swear Gamer. They don't match the price. They try to come pretty close or beat it. All right, so I got their little business card stuff here. We hope that you enjoy your box, whatever. I got a sticker. I guess this guy's name is Floyd, which is pretty rags. So I'm really a big um, Pink Floyd fan. And this says Power Up. Power up. Is that one of the... I, I've seen one-ups and two-ups and three-ups, so I don't know what a power-up is. I bet you they realized that they couldn't live up to three book games because this is a... There's more congratulations. You have received many free games. It just says many. Thank you for being VGM. Subscriber. It doesn't even say how many games are in there. So... Let me pull out the bubble wrap. Hold on. I'll be using this to ship things later on. All right, let's see. What's the first game? You get to see the label before I do. Okay, home run. Home run for the Atari 2600. Home run. I don't think I have home run, so that's cool. That's the idea. That's the idea. Filler. Oh, 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 oh. This is for the Intellivision, and it feels like an Activision cartridge. I don't have too many of those. Stampede! This is a game I didn't know there was on the television. You're wondering, how does he see it? I can see it in the monitor. Okay, my, my cell phone. I can see me. Stampede! Heck yeah! I was watching Linda the Gamer Girl play this for the Atari 2600 um, yesterday. Yesterday. Really good stuff. Her comments were off. Linda, if you're watching this, your comments were off. I wanted to comment about it, but I watched it. So there you go. Sorry about the backlight and everything getting dark. I just... The way I had to set up real quick. All right, next, next. I don't want to waste any more time. Okay, another Atari 2600 game. What do we got here? Maze Craze. I'm, this is a gross cartridge. <laughs> this label feels like it's been wet a time or 12. Um, a game of cops and robbers. Maze Craze is a fun game. It really is. It's a nice example of one of those really, um, one of those really early games for the system. All right. Whoa, hold on. How many more games are in here? All right, so there's two more games. So technically, it would have been a, a one-up, right? Okay, so this is another Intellivision. And I think I see another, I feel another Atari game. Boom. Oh, I have boxing. I know I have boxing. Shit. Oh, I don't know. Either way, I know I have boxing, so... All right, so technically I only have four games. Oh, there's two more games in here. I, I didn't feel this one over here in the corner. All right, so no, there's another Intellivision and one more Atari. Let's see what we got here. 
Boom. Sub Hunt. I don't have this one. I'm excited about this game. Sub Hunt. I've seen a few people play it. Hmm. I really need to fatten up my television collection. Might try to go for the full deal, you know? And now, last but not least, won't get the box out of the way. Fuck off. Laser Blast. Another Activision title. Well, not another, but it's an Activision title. And I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. Um, I've been a little bit laxed in my 2600 collecting since I've been back in, in, in Boston. Um, most of these I've already had at one point, but really nice. So let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six games. I got six games for the price of three. <laughs> so again, Maze Craze. I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Home Run. Pretty sure I don't have it. Laser Blast. I know I don't have it. Sub Hunt. I'm going to put all these in. Boxing, which I do know I do have. And Stampede. I'm going to try this one out almost instantly. I want to try this. I think they did well. I think they did very well by throwing in three extra games. <laughs> you know what I mean? But will they do that next month to do the same thing? That's, that's the whole idea. So, yeah, that's uh, my very first Video Games Monthly Challenge Box. And, you know, if they add more pre-NES or even like Blank Slinks isn't pre-NES, but if they add that to it, of course I'll add to it and it won't be as difficult for them. Um, yeah, I'm just curious if they have to continue doing this to at least give me somewhat of a value or if... Um, they're just going to keep sneaking in little things like this every month. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. What do you think? Do you think it was worth it? I think it was $35 plus. It was like $42 after taxes, shipping, and all that stuff. I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, none of the games are extraordinarily amazing or anything. Laser Blast is a fun game. Stampede is awesome. I, I've never played it on the television. And Sub Hunt is a game I've been looking for. So Or thinking about getting if I see it out in the wild, I should say. I'm not actively hunting for anything. Um, but yeah, no, I'm happy with that. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think they're going to do next month? Do you think they're still going to give me a couple extra games? Do you think I'm going to get another power up? Or do you think uh, they're just going to go with the flow? Guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Creep it real. One of the next videos is me playing the uh, Amico pretty excited about that. A lot, a lot of new things happening this week. Yeah, take care. Keep it real. And bye-bye.